Hello, Leo. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. So this is going to be a special reading, uh, not one of my normal love readings. I kind of was um, thinking on what would help everyone the most right now and was really guided by spirit to do a string of readings that might be triggering. So I want to let everyone who clicked on this reading know this is a trigger warning. This is a, this is a reading that is going to be about abusive relationships, how they affect us, how maybe we can heal from them, what's the best steps to take, how are they affecting us, that kind of thing. So um, Leo, if you find yourself in that position and feel ready to hear these messages that could be triggering, stick around. If you feel like you're not ready for this or this doesn't fit your scenario, just maybe click off and um, see what else you're guided to, okay? But let's go ahead and get started for the Leo guided here. The Leo guided here. The Leo guided here. What do they need to know the most right now about an abusive relationship they are or have been in or maybe embarking upon? Okay, we have card 22, duality, partnership, soulmate number, um, winter coming out here, okay? So something could be um, happening for you, Leo, this, you know, before winter ends. I think that's either March 20th or 21st, somewhere around there this year. Um, let's see here. Yeah, like some of you, the hero card jumped out at me here. Some of you um, and manifestations at the bottom. So some of you might be like manifesting a hero or you may be praying for a hero. You might be praying for for just some light to shine through the darkness and guide you out of this situation or guide you through it or help you to navigate through it. Um, you remember when, remember you can always, always be your own hero. And I find it interesting that this is a card 11, which is half of 22 in, in, in numerology, numerology, the 29 is 11. All right. So we have air coming out, um, card nine, one of these numbers might be synchronistic for you. Um, one of these pictures might be synchronistic to you. Um, you could feel like you need air, like the, the relationship that you were in or are in or embarking upon, you feel like you can't breathe, like you need air when, um, you're near this person or when you're in the situation, like I can't even breathe. It's so, um, just constricting almost, and it almost squeezes the life out of me. And, and the dead of winter, what happens in winter? Everything dies. And then in the spring, it blooms again, okay? So I feel like air and water are going to be healing a lot for the Leo's guided here for some reason. Um, if you can take a, a warm bath or get to sit by a body of water, look at a body of water online if you can't get to one, listening to the sound of it is going to be helpful um, in this situation just to comfort and kind of ground you, okay? Um, so we're going to get a few here of the Twin Flame Oracle cards. Now, you can um, you can apply this to a non-romantic relationship if you've been in or are in or have been affected by somebody who abused you that was non-romantic. You can apply these messages. This is a deck that's more for um, a romantic relationship, but you can take what applies from the rest of the reading and you know, leave what, what doesn't for you personally. So for Leo... Leo, yeah, I mean, it's time to receive. It's time to receive some abundance. It's time to receive things that actually make you feel good. Instead of being stuck in this situation like the dead of winter, like th this frozen, solid soul who makes you pray for a hero, who makes you feel like you can't breathe. You don't need that, Leo. You don't. You need and deserve to receive love and abundance by the bucket fools, especially after what you have been through. So let's take a look here. Yeah, I mean, uh, you might have had some big goals that this relationship just freaking sabotaged. You may have wanted things for yourself that you feel this relationship has blocked. You may be setting goals right now so that you can finally receive the abundance and rise out of this debt of, uh, of, um, of winter and, and have this rebirth and be your own hero. You might be... You might be being called, Leo, to make some big goals and start taking any small steps you can toward them so that you can be your own hero and have this these buckets of abundance and um, 
you know, things that are actually good instead of, you know, having someone that you have feel you have to chase. Um, maybe this person has chased you and you can't even get away from them. Like you just can't seem to cut them out of your life because they chase you down. Um, or, you know, you might be in pursuit of somebody who replicates, you know, somebody who abused you from your childhood and now you're constantly chasing them and you don't know why you can't get this energy out of your life but because something in you is calling to that and you need to find out how to heal that you could talk to a therapist you could you know go to groups you could um you know look up some things like um some law of attraction and manifesting a new life type energy yeah, look at that. As I said that for you, Leo, working on your vibration is going to be a big, big one. It should be part of your big goals that you're making. It should be. You should not be compromising your well-being, your happiness, your heart, your sanity, your, you know, your finances, anything that you are compromising to be with this person who makes you feel like you can't breathe, who makes you feel like they're frozen cold and they don't have any compassion for you. You don't want to compromise in that department. You want to have what you deserve in this life and your vibration when you get into a positive space I know it's hard when you are in an abusive situation to find any sort of a positive space in this life but when you get into this positive space Abraham Hicks is a good one to look up and listen to the book The Magic by Rhonda Byrne um, you can heal your life by Louise Hay these are all big ones that have helped me tremendously over the years but you can raise your vibration, which is the state of energy that you put out from your energetic space inside of yourself to others. It attracts things to us. It really does. It attracts more of that darkness when we're really stuck in that. So making some goals and working on them a little bit of time, you know, that'll help your vibration. Um, standing your ground finally, no matter what it takes to do so, is going to help you receive and cut this run or chase or energy that doesn't seem to leave for you. All right, so we're going to get some Work Your Light Oracle cards and ask, how can the Leo watching best heal or start to heal or finish the healing, wherever the Leo is in their process right now? How can the Leo watching best heal, Spirit, please guide us? Let's see here. All right, Leo. I'm sorry for everything you've been through. I'm sorry that you had to hurt and have your life pushed aside and derailed. And I'm sorry that you had to live in this frozen cold environment. Leo watching. Yeah, so the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. And I know that can be incredibly awful to hear when you're in the midst of any sort of abuse that's affecting you adversely. You're like, screw that message, okay? I don't want this. I don't want whatever it's leading me to. I just want it to stop. But it is letting you know that there is a beautiful something awaiting and you're going to bloom like a flower. This has been an ever unfolding rose and you know, you haven't deserved this and it's going to lead to something. It really is. Even if it just leads to healing and you're free finally from this energy that has held you back all of your, you know, maybe all of your life or most of your life, Leo. Um, and look at this, that ever folding rose and all of this stuff that's happening you know, we do have these soul contracts when we come into this earth. Is That's my belief. And, um, you know, that's how I feel what resonates with me. And we make soul contracts with people. And a lot of times the people that hurt us, you know, deep down inside, they, they really wouldn't have wanted to, but they have playing that part, okay? They're playing that part to help this unfold for you. Remember that. It's, it's, the, it's all about perspective. It really is. And when you realize that, that happened so I could get here and every single thing I had led me to where I'm going or maybe I'm going to do something to help others that's going to tremendously change the world and I had to suffer so badly to make it happen um, and then we have this transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing so Leo we have deep healing coming in for you really heavy healing energy this ever unfolding rose it's part of your transformation okay this whole this whole experience has been part of your transformation. 
And it's almost like you're being asked, a lot of you Leos are being asked to choose you. Choose yourself. Be your own hero and, and start taking baby steps to get yourself more air so you can breathe. Yeah, boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries, Leo? Some of you are not, um, you know, really... Um, laying down your boundaries and you're feeling afraid to voice those afraid you'll get hurt afraid somebody will leave you you know and if you are in a situation where it's dangerous of course you can't be like that you need to go to authorities you need to go to get help but um or leave and or all the above <laughs> and um but if you're in a position where you know you have safety and can enforce your boundaries even if you do so you know you have a right to be treated a certain way you don't compromise on that you only accept what you, you know you deserve and nothing less. And a lot of times, too, um, you want to be careful because something or someone in your life is acting as a mirror and it's really triggering you and upsetting you. And there's something in that message that you need to know, Leo. That's why you're being triggered and that's why spirit is showing you what you need to see through this person, this experience. It could be this very reading. You could be feeling angry and aggravated maybe because you don't want this to be your story but you know deep down that it is and you needed the mirror to show you so that you can help bring yourself out of that save yourself one second leo i'm sorry i gotta get a drink my throat okay so now we're going to get some tarot here for you all right for the leo guided here to this abusive relationship reading. The Leo guided here. What do they need to know now the most? Black tourmaline is a really great stone to help healing from abuse and keep yourself grounded and protected. Three of cups coming out. So we do have a spot of brightness coming in. Um, saying that perhaps coming together with some friends or family that make you feel happy and good and centered and grounded would be really good for you right now. Getting out of this dark space and making yourself feel a little bit better. And I feel like this is like coming together with your higher self and spirit to a degree too for a lot of you who are just really needing to be alone right now and don't want to go out and celebrate. This is like coming together with self yourself your higher self and spirit who is here trying so hard to give you the strength to get through what you're going through what you have been through what you're trying to heal from and the pain that it has caused you um spirit is here saying um leo that six of wands has popped out saying there is a victory in this okay a lot of you watching here are about to embark on a huge transformation with the dead of winter death and rebirth we have transformation, we have this rose that's unfolding and becoming what it is supposed to fully be, that's gonna be very beautiful. And so we have this victory here. So it's like really for a lot of the Leos led here, as hard as this is to maybe hear, a lot of this had to happen because something big is going to happen for you and the people that know you because of it. And even if it's just you finally escaping into freedom and being able to trust that you're safe in this world, that is a victory all in itself. Because look, the Eight of Swords says you've been very, very trapped, Leo. You've been incredibly trapped. The situation has um, made you feel like you have no way out. You are really stuck. And Eight of Swords is a self-imposed imprisonment of one's own mind, okay? So... Um, that means that your mind is really your worst enemy in all of this. It is making you feel trapped and stuck and like you don't have a way out. But here we have the sun coming out and it feels like this is like the warmest energy. It's coming down and shining upon the rose, which is you, Leo, trying to help you toward these buckets of abundance and this air where you can breathe freely and you don't have to feel so trapped and restrained and restricted and beat down and burdened the sun wants to shine on your life leo because you deserve that you deserve the happiness that the sun is bringing in and this is a message this is the last card out saying leo the sun is coming up for you it's going to melt this ice and snow just have the strength to break through the surface 
and, and get yourself into a position that's safer, that's better for you, and trust that all will be well. All right, Leo, we're going to get you, um, a, this is a crystal deck. It's really gorgeous. My, my beautiful niece got me this for my birthday, this last birthday in October. Um, I'm going to see what, what crystal, what crystal will help Leo heal the most right now. Of course, crystals are never in place for therapy and medical professionals, but you can add it to, you know, and, um, okay. So I really feel like, so we got, I'm going to, I'm just going to leave all of these here because it feels like you were meant to have them. But I feel like the main one here for um, Leo is going to be the tourmaline. Okay. That's what I just mentioned to you earlier. And I didn't mention this in the last reading I did. Um, you're the second reading today. I didn't mention the black tourmaline I'm wearing, but I did for you. And it came out as well. Black tourmaline. Um, and it says why it's good for you. It guards against attacks, psychic attacks. So energetic attacks, you know, energy vampires, things like that. It's good to alchemize or change negative energy into gentler, lighter frequencies to create a safe space for a home in the present moment. Black tourmaline is a sharp chakra harmonizer, ensuring all parts of the energetic and physical bodies are vibrating as one. And so um, I'll hold the card up here in case you I hope you can see this. In case you want to read more about it, you can take a screenshot. <laughs> um, and I really feel like other than Garnet and I'm sorry, Garnet and Onyx have popped out, but this one really is calling to me for you at the bottom of the deck. Pink halite or halite. To fill so why is it good? To fill one's being with the divine power of self-acceptance, to ground the experience of the earthly plane and total all-encompassing love, which is really what we need right now to heal Leo, just tremendous compassion and love for the self, to remind our hearts of their home. Much of our discomfort and uncertainty lies in lack of acceptance. Paying halite allows us to settle into external experiences of unknowing with confidence of inner peace. That's perfect. So I'm gonna hold it up. Get it into focus if I can line it up here so you can see it and read more about it. And um, I mean, those are two perfect stones. If you can get a hold of those or, you know, a bracelet or just a small tiny chunk and, you know, keep them near you, um, that's really going to help you a lot. Very healing energy, this pink energy coming in, meaning you really need some compassion for yourself. So Leo, thank you so very much for stopping by and um, hearing these very difficult messages. Um, I hope that you found some sort of comfort, guidance, insight in this reading. Thank you so much for stopping by, Leo. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.